Three, two, one, go. I guess the reason I count down is partly to hype myself up, so... If... Also, it lets you guys know exactly when it's starting, so... Not sure if that helps, though, because you can kind of see it when the timer goes off. Yeah. Gets so close so often. There we are. That's the sort of routing for damage. Though I took damage where I shouldn't have. Stay too long on that second one. Or that first one, but it's fine. Alright. Keep it moving. Alright. And here we go. Shouldn't go back for one piece of gold. That was a mistake on my part. Alright, remember, I don't have dash, so I have to do that normally. Ooh, a lot of paths down. This is two big rooms right off the bat. Okay, that echo kick was instinct. I did not see it. I just, like, I feel like I should kick. Something told me to do that, and it, it worked. Can't argue with results. Sure. Let's just get this chest. We're going to need money anyways. It's not like I could dash around, so... This isn't even a slow test right now. Ooh. I'm also kind of f hoping I find the cistern so I have a reason to warp back. Just wanted to kill that guy fast so I didn't have to worry about his attack or anything. So that's why I reset that. Ooh, takes three attacks for those guys now. He's not gonna fall off because the ledge is too great. All right, remember, three attacks or a fireball. And time. Wow, quite the area. All right, keeps going up. Let's go up then. I hit something. Hey, bro. No hard feelings. You're on fire, bro. You fire. Oop. He's gonna fall off. Yep. I found the cistern. Oh. Well, that does give me a warp point, so that's not even that bad. That being said, this is a big house, and I don't appreciate it. For a house that lives within its means. And there's one of those expansive mansions, I guess. Whew. Let's check these roots real fast. Mmm. That's a new trap room. Icarus Wings book. Not all bad. Not all bad. But it looks like we ain't gonna be finding the dash for some time now. Unless it's here. Oof. Whenever those hit them somewhere that's not away, always strange timings for me. All right, we'll just grab this chest and go, I think. Actually, that chest is a really weird spot when you don't have dash. Yeah, not having dash early definitely is burdensome. That's okay. As you can see by my record, my PB, 
I've gone through worse. All right. Of course, with my PB, there are some deaths, and well, now we don't have deaths right now. We are going slow because they really didn't like being in those rooms I wanted them to be in. But hey, at least they offer more rooms for us to stay in. Big hotel, big place. Get out of there! I don't need to deal with your arcs when I'm in these weird arcs. All right. Well, we found the mech, or Lem my voice sometimes, but yeah, it's Lamech. Now we need to find Dash. Hey, what? That? What? Guys, that's the exit right there. And I need to show you a map of where the book is after this. Because the exit... So that's the exit, which is supposed to be the far right of the castle. And it's basically to the left with how close... It's basically in just the center of the castle with its positioning right now. Alright. Oh my gosh. Freaking shivs. Oh my gosh. Freaking fireballs. Not hitting their targets. Alright. Oop. Alright, we have 50. That's the important part. You want 50 so you can do this room. Shoot. Yes, sir. Probably would have been faster to not even wait for the shot, but he was taking his time, and I wasn't going to brush him. Alright. That's fine. We keep going. Alright. Whoop. Come on, work this time. Yes. Professional. Slight half a second boost is what I feel that is. It's adding one additional dash to that to that room. But anyways, that's the exit right there, which means that should be the far right of the castle. But I'm just going to show it one more time before I go in. That's the far right of the castle. Way over there. I have to scroll to see it. And yet that's supposed to be... Hey, how's it going? It's going well. Um, if you haven't noticed, I got a new profile picture from a friend. That really awesome art that she gave to me. Um, I plan to pay them, but for it because it's good art, but just really awesome paint. I should appreciate it, or not painting, but picture. Whew, how about you, man? How you doing? Doing good, glad to hear. Ooh. Got lucky there. Because, yes, I did not see that fast enough. Then again, I'm thinking I'm grabbing Ultra Instinct in this game. I've played it enough that that, that is now the third time I dodged an attack that I did not see coming. Just Instinct told me to make a maneuver, and it worked. Alright. That is good. That is good. But yeah, big castle today. We found the book, and it's further than Axis Monday. Alright. 
Let's go. So next we grab Echo Kick. Like, we found the book, but we are not entering it. Alright. We are saving the book for later. It is our dessert. Our final course, but we must eat it before we go to bed. With this character. Alright. Oh, that's not a dash you want to take. Neither is that. Okay. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Alright. But yeah, I... Honestly, I'm having fun just doing speedruns, and I don't know how much longer I can do speedruns of this, um, patch, so... Well, actually, once the next patch comes in, it's just gonna be this, but even more, so... Yeah, I think I'm... When I put that way, I'm a lot more content with what we're doing. Alright. Oof. Ooh, that was a good room. Ah. Alright. Note to self, that's not the optimal route because it has that risk. Whew. Alright. Good to know. Good to have that cataloged in my brain. Two optimal routes found. Whoa! Oh yeah, it was right next to the Lamech. That makes sense. I didn't even have to use the warp. I just walked two rooms. Makes sense why that's a golden split then. Ooh, that blobfish had it out for me. Oh, well, the water took me instead. All right, got enough money. I mean, never enough money, but enough that I'm not going to complain. Whoop. Yep, didn't want you that close, bro. Hey, Blobfish. I appreciate you. Mm. But yeah, I'm going to just look at where the map goes to the right, and then how much, how deep under Axis Mundi it goes. That is absurd. Anyways, the absurd Axis Mundi cost me, I think it cost me enough time that I'm not been worried about um, record right now. We're just hanging out. Alright, let's do some more Valkyrie practice. It's been a while since I played a Valkyrie. Or should I do duelist practice? Hmm, Valkyrie for now. Between the two, which is better? Hmm. It is a question I need to ask myself. I mean, I like the duelist, but other people like the Valkyrie more. And I understand where they're coming from, because if you can pull off that spin consistently is perhaps the strongest class in the game. I just realized I was taking away my platforms. Oh. That wasn't the best maneuver, but it's a maneuver that has me not dead. Alright. Whew. What about Town Run with Mage? That's... Once they fix Mage, I'm all for it. But until then, I'll do the um, the Spin Kick only challenge instead. How's that sound? Because, like, that challenge actually seems interesting. I mean, they both seem interesting, but... And, like, I will... Honestly, if you guys want to see those sort of challenge runs, I'm all for it. It's just, like, with my limited time, I'd rather speed run with it, you know? Ooh. Oh, that's a floor. An unwalkable through floor. And that's more treasure. 
more treasure that I do not need right now. Oh, that's just the top. All right. Thanks. Faster to just exit out. All right. Poof. Fastest book in the West, though. Fastest book in the West. Oop. Oh. Might as well check what's down real fast. Not interested. Thanks for the offer, though. That's the way, isn't it? It is the way. Wow, that place that I said was not interested in is the path. This has not been a good um, castle layout twice in a row, but it's fine. We just let it happen. I see a big question, I just have to wait until there's a good spot to answer it. Like, once I find the book and, like, start making my way through Axis Mundi. Whew. What do you think about the devs? Are they really responsive to the feedback? Yes, they are. Um, the thing is, they have to, um, spend some time to, you know, get everything. Like, they only get so many updates, so... They have to make sure when they get feedback, like, the answer might not come for a while, but, like, they'll show up, they'll talk to you, um, all that. I don't know how to explain it otherwise, other than, yeah, they are responsive. Um, they're not always active in the Discord, but that's because they're busy, you know, making the game. So, they are, like, they've listened to stuff, um, they even talked about it, how all the different themes that have been added to the game through responses and not through their initial intent. Whew, that was lucky on my part. That is not why I want to be using on a sentry. Not why I'm ground level with a sentry. And why am I not attacking? This is why I want to use that. Get out of here, McRib. I always feel like I the spin takes a while to start up, and I always mistime it. Anyways, yeah, bad layouts just means we do it as fast as we can. All right, life happens. You, you live through it. But yeah, um, like for example, a lot of people didn't like how the duelist's attack works, and one like about midway through the month, they were like saying, "Oh yeah, the duelist doesn't need any changes." By the time of this patch, you'll notice that listed in the patch is a change to the attack for the duelist. Like, they decided, hey, enough people are having concerns with this. It's time. We can do something about it. So. Yeah. And then they're like, thank you for your feedback. Oh, that is another thing you should know. When I got my first PB that was world record, um, one of the devs responded, great job, man. I was in that chat during that time. Like... One of the devs actually watch this channel. They don't comment, but they watch this channel. So that's that's really exciting to hear, you know? So. Ooh. Wait, I never grabbed the book again. That means I need to go find the book. Let's go make sure the boss is beatable. All right. Honestly, that's good as a repositioning tool, even if the damage from doing it the wrong direction doesn't pan out. But yeah, one of the things is from running this game, 
my opinion on the Magic 8-Ball has definitely diminished. It's still freaking cool, it's just not as good. Like, it's still a good spell. I'm... it's fun, it's interesting, it's just... The issue with it becomes a lot more apparent when you're spending most of your time in Axis Mundi. Let's just put it that way. Ooh. All right, let's see if there's a relic that's good. Nope. All right. Ooh. Mm. I was trying to kick off of it, but that fireball got in the way. Oh! Hi. Thank you. Thank you, Instinct. You, once again, you are the hero of this story. Alright. But yeah, definitely Magic 8 Ball. Not exactly the most useful in these rooms. And if I'm going to be facing a boss, Flame Wheel. Not Magic. Magic 8 Ball does have the damage, it's just. The additional considerations do actually pile up on your mental headspace. Oh my gosh. It's one thing to miss, it's another thing to then take damage because of it. Let's get this chest. I need to get to a thousand by the time I beat the boss. I was afraid of that. At least water isn't the most dangerous thing to land in. It hurts. Don't get me wrong. The damage adds up. Oop. Thanks for coming back for me, 8-Ball. You're like a boomerang. Alright. Leather weapon. Oof. <laughs> My reaction began when I first saw that enemy. You may have noticed how close that enemy got to me before I, that reaction began. Alright. Amaterasu's son? I was saying that as a question, but sure, Instinct, pick it up. By all means. I'm sure it will be fine. Alright, we're going to pop that open, but we're not even going to go back for book. We're just going to go in, and if we take damage, we then reset. And go back for book then. done. Oh my gosh. Alright. Yeah, we're just going to reset, go find the book, and come back. Make ourselves safe. Make sure this doesn't go worse than needed. Heal ourselves up along the way. You know, all that drive. Alright. Faster to actually warp to Axis Mundi. So let's do that. Gonna have a bunch of loading screens, but is the faster route. But yeah, once. Hmm. That's not appreciated. There. A bit more. Acceptable. Why did I not go up from there? The world may never know. I sure don't. Oof. 
All right, that's the very top. So book is more likely here. I mean, it can't be there. That's all that that means. <laughs> found Lamech. Found book. Nope. Found Lamech damage. All right. Getting close to the gold output I need, which is... I just realized, if I beat this boss, I'm going to need that gold output, so... Might as well grab it now. Okay. We now go back to the entrance, I guess. Ugh. Book doesn't... Unlucky floors today. That's fine. Unlucky floors, keep your head high. Sometimes, like, life comes at you like that. And if you're not ready for that... You ain't ready for this run. But yeah, no, this run usually doesn't have that much variance. Not as much as it's happening today. Out. 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 Break those for me. Thank you. Starting to hurt. One of the hard parts is that any place that goes straight down, I know can't be it, be the room. But at the same time, I have to go straight down to find a route that changes directions over to what could be the room. This could be it. Nope. Hmm. <laughs> Drop down a little too fast. All right. Hmm. <sighs> well, I don't want a vegan, so I guess we have an ectomorph. All right. It's precisely all my gold. That was not intentional, but I'm honored. And then next we'll buy the shop so we can actually use that leather weapon we got. Ugh. Alright. Moving on. Keep it calm. Keep it moving. Keep it steady. Keep it flowing. Unlucky rooms. Like, obviously the room luck isn't the design factor. Well, usually. Ah, that's Ectomorph. I see. Today, I will say that the rooms were a big decider in how well this run panned out. But, of course... You can't blame a room alone. You are the person with the controller. You decide how it moves. Death does not come from the rooms, just time loss. And it... Oh, wow. Quite the routing necessity. Oh, I'm going to be opening a lot of chests. Because I need to, without... The max buff. I need to open up enough chests to get 100 gold. And you might be asking why are not why am I not going for chests right now? Because chests here can hold as little as three gold pieces, while chests in Axis Mundi could hold as much as like 200 and something. So, yeah, priorities. Enemies basically. Yeah, look, an enemy just carried as much gold as the aver as a chest here sometimes. It's not the average chest, but sometimes. Now, free chests like this. Hmm. Well, if I could get the leather trinkets, I could get can capacity up, so... Something. Hey, book! I want to pick it up. I know I'm supposed to pick it up. But then part of me says it's a free heal, and I haven't even found Axis Mundi yet. That is such a fast fire cycle. But yeah, glad I at least use it to get to Axis Mundi because look at this damage work we've taken already. Hey, Lamech. 
get more health at low mech. And we pop open Axis. There we are. Am I going to be stupid again? Yeah, I'm going to be a bit stupid again. Let's get to the halfway point with where we are, and then we'll pop open the book. Because we're... We are great at making bad decisions. It's fun. Making bad decisions leads to fun stories. That's one of the things I missed as a teenager. I never really made that, that many bad decisions as a teenager. No, I had to do it when I was 23. That was that was a mistake of its own. Mm. And thank goodness none of the decisions were the kind that destroy you for life. So, No tattoos that were going to permanently scar me. Nah, none of that stuff. So weird getting knocked back. It's like, it's almost like comical how far it throws you. Ooh. Keep it moving. There we are. Yeesh. Hello. Thanks for the boost. Bit of lag showing up. That's always unfortunate. Now, if you think about the fact that this place even operates properly, is pretty impressive. Am I really about to be this stupid? I am really about to be this stupid. Well, better hope I make it, because if I don't. I have concerns. I have many concerns. Many that were solved, and then I unsolved them. Like a, like a Rubik's Cube that someone gave you completed, and then you just spin it around for the sake of it and realize you don't know what you've done, and you need to ask for help again. And it's really uncomfortable because you know the person that could help is right there and watched you destroy his masterpiece in front of him. Hmm. Eight knife, guys. Knifer, don't knifey. Honestly, yeah, the knives are the scariest enemy in my mind. Other than the bosses, of course. Well, actually, scarier than. Nah, not scarier than the mech. Like on a scale of one to ten, knives are knives are like an eight, which is pretty huge for. Just a random enemy. Alright, now let's go get the book. There we are. Took me a lot while. Variant castle rooms. Definitely extended the process, but my inability my need to generate more also was part of that process. Can't put it all in the book. Can't put it all in the castle. Never put it all on luck. That's not really all is on luck. But we are not going to play games that are at that level. Once it gets to that level, it no longer becomes fun. Honestly. In my mind, at least. Maybe I'll be wrong. Maybe once I get to that caliber, I'll be wrong. I guess if victory is all you care about, yeah. Then it sucks. But if you can enjoy the process, despite the luck... Then it's not that bad. Speaking of which, the 100% that I did last Saturday, it was actually pretty fun. It like it, it was fun until the last few hours, I should say. Like the first six hours was like I'm really glad I did this, and then the last several hours after that came in, and I was no longer glad I did this.
Hmm. Oh, that was gonna kill. Mistake. So yeah, I'm not sure if you knew that. If you were precisely in the um, shield, it has a bit of a hitbox to the left and right, kind of like an oval. So you could stand in the shield and basically all projectiles can't hit you. So that's a benefit if you can pull it off. All right, now we go get the plus 15% damage boost. And with that plus 15 percent, we go wreck the boss. That should be great. That should be grand. All right. Yeah. To this day, I still find um, this boss, the skeletons, are actually the hardest boss in the game so far. I still stand by that. I think even if their damage was reduced, and their their damage and health were reduced to like fit more in line, I think they'd still be the most threatening to me, because if it goes wrong, it goes wrong. There we are. Nope, not enough damage to actually affect them. simple. They're not being too aggressive on me. That's nice. Thank you. Hey, and I got enough gold so that I actually can buy the teleport. That's nice. The combination of the two is definitely appreciated. Alright. Thank you, Barith. <sighs> I guess that was how far. There we go. Moving forward. And we have enough money. Get ourselves pizza. Alright. Oof. Alright. Ah, come on. Use it properly. Press the right button. Oh. Hopefully this area is a bit more friendly to me than the previous than the, in the previous lives. Woo. Nearly dashed into that shield. Oh, but we found it. So if this lag doesn't kill me because the lag is actually making it really hard to jump. Awesome! Hey! That was a good early... Oh. But I don't have a character that's good for doing this. That ain't good. Yep, so if you... For those who don't know, because there seems to be actually quite a lot of people watching, um... There's an issue where the shields... Um, whenever you attack them with your sword, you bounce back, but they don't bounce back. It's the only weapon that has that issue. And... Um... 
there's an entire room here that is nothing but shields. With the shield enemies. And this is the one class that really can't deal with them. So... Definitely gotta be ready for that. Here it is. Scary room. Commences. Alright, spin towards me. Thank you. That was good. Come on. Break. Nope. Didn't break. No, stop spawning! And this doesn't deal enough damage or stop them! Ah, uh, yeah. So basically that room is a nightmare for swords mas for swordsmen. Especially one your spell doesn't deal damage. Your spell is a protective one, and one that doesn't protect against them. So now I have to pick a character that's not them, so I have to go with this Chronic Fatigue character, even though it's not good for... Chronic Fatigue is a really bad condition for Valkyries. Oh! Well, actually, let's just buy a Barbarian. Barbarians can handle Chronic Fatigue. It just basically means they don't get a shout. But yeah, the White Star is not going to be cast more than once every five seconds, so... Yeah, that's fine. So that power of chronic fatigue. So in case you're wondering, it adds um, more time. Hey, it's been a while. Hey, you're the bullfish. How's it going? I've been doing fine. Um, you might also might have noticed I just today got a new profile pic. Very cute. Got it from my friend Abbeast. Um, I linked their um, what's it called? Their Instagram, I think. But yeah, glad to see you again, man. How's it been going? I'm assuming I'm assuming you've been enjoying Assassin's Creed. Ah. Uh. Oof. But yeah, everything's going good on this side. Oof. Hey, found a lily! Yay! Oh. Alright. I've not really streamed at all. I'm good, good but loads going on. Alright, yeah, you know. You, you do you, man. You When time comes, time comes. Alright. Oof! So you notice how I don't get knocked back when I'm doing that. That's the benefits of playing Barbarian instead of a Knight. Or that's one of the benefits. If I hit them with my grounded attack, they actually do get I actually do get knocked back, but so do they. And that's an important distinction. Okay. That did not work as I expected. Alright. Things getting in the way I'll be back eventually. Yeah. Well, definitely I'll see if I can see you when you get back, man. Alright. Well, that was a weird room. Alright. I'm going to use this 343 gold to buy a sword. Sir, you have a leather sword for me, do you not? Thank you, sir. You also have a leather cape. And of course, you always have that leather helmet. I guess that blueprint was just lying on the floor. Hmm. Got some. Had to get a drink of water. Did it so fast the water bounced up and got my glasses all wet. Ugh. Note to self stop trying to speedrun food. Definitely ends badly. Yes, I have records, and it's impressive, but. doesn't mean it's a good idea. Oh. That's not where I expected I'd go. Yep, it's just path up, basically. Alright. Alright, found a lily. Might as well finish this route. Since I'm gonna have to come back here for the lily, so... If Nama happens to be up here, good to know that now. If Nama's not up here, also good to know that now. So, win-win, sorta. 
I'm at four health. Huh. Three away from the dream. Huh. I'd really appreciate fine far shores. Really appreciate it. Alright. Apparently it hasn't heard my appreciation enough, so I'm gonna just keep calling it. Dear Far Shores, you the best. I'd really like it if you weren't so far. Well, found a maw. Hey, Hyperion Ring, that could keep me not dead. That's always an appreciation. Oop. Grab some muns. I always like my guild. I, 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 I really suck at that crap's impression. Let that shut. Boop. Keep it moving. Knew it wasn't going to be there, but need to get out of the way to reset so I can escape that. Oh, duh, I have a spell. Thank you, Hyperion's Rain, because I'd be disappointed in myself. I mean, I'm still a little disappointed in myself, but not as much. Thank you, Far Shores. You did listen. You just went the other... You were just like, No! Go the other way! Alright. Here we go. Hmm. Alright, we do this room again. This room isn't like the most dangerous, it's just, un it's really good at making you feel uncomfortable is the best way to describe it. If you let the discomfort get to you, it'll get to you. It'll get to you hard. And this room is just following the pattern, not trying to fight it. Because it's like, I can do this faster, but then I have to do this, I need to maneuver here, I need to dodge here, and it's like, nah, just... Jump when it tells you to jump. Alright. So, even got them in a good spot. But yeah, you can see how this raw damage in the air that doesn't get knocked back, how that's so much better than the sword. Whoop, gotta make sure not to hit the ceiling with that. Do it sometimes. Not appreciated. Alright. Moving on. Wings, yay! And to think, I had a golden split for the book. Eh. Well, actually, that golden split wasn't really decided by the book as much as it was other things. Let's see. I guess we'll go here. I think this is the fastest route. Not certain of it, but I do need to get that lily. This definitely feels like the fastest route in my mind. So it's all the way to the left, down on all the way right. Don't hurt me. Wait. Alright, we're good. Hmm. Alright. Awesome. Got the lily. So now we just... That triple jump wheel of death. <laughs> yep. Huh. Oof. So first we go to this entrance to get the damage boost, so... 
Alright. And now we go to the throne. Alright, and we're just gonna be chill. We're gonna let the doors open properly so that we make sure we get a sub one hour. That's always nice. Always nice to get a sub one hour. Hmm. What's my spell again? Eight ball? Well, eight ball spent. max mana again. Didn't expect to get any mana, but then she just sat on the ground like it was somewhere she could sit. As if flight was not an issue, a thing she had. As if she was Lamech. You know, I wouldn't be um, surprised if I heard that Lamech and Nama actually had the same amount of health, but you just notice her singing more Actually, no, because she actually ends up getting hit like a punching bag, so she definitely has more health. Just a very different kind of punching bag. One that you have to hunt. But yeah, once you hunt her down, you just wail on her. Get out of there. We'll just shout to get ourselves the opportunity to just keep the kill. All right, simple enough. You even made use of the show. Sped me up with it. Alright. Casual damage list Nama. Yep. Nama is it's one of the interesting things that she is the hardest boss sometimes. And otherwise, the most likely boss that you're going to do damage list. Pretty cool though. Pretty